Hi, this is Robert Perlman with CollectSpace.com uh, with another question for Richard. Um, of some of your activities on board, how have you found uh, your zero-G artwork to be going, and have you had a chance to run the lockers? Uh, well, I've, uh, I did create the Zero-G artwork. I came up with a glove box in which I could uh, uh, release some uh, paint without uh, risking uh, painting the walls of the station and uh, uh, created some art that I'll be bringing back so you can judge for yourself. Uh, and no, I haven't uh, yet found a, a good time or a space to uh, try the uh, locker run, but uh, uh, you know, we'll see what I can uh, figure out here before I come to the ground. It's nice to talk to you, by the way, Rob. Thanks. And for, uh, and for Mike Fink, how famil familiar does the station feel um, now that you're on board for a little bit, and how are you adjusting to the, to the work pace? Well, the second time around is uh, the transition uh, to zero G and everything was a, it was a lot easier, and uh, I felt uh, I felt better with this adapting to space, the space adaptation a lot uh, a lot faster. So, uh, with uh, Greg's help and and uh, that of Sergey and Oleg and and Yuri, we were able to hit the ground running, and we've got a lot done so far. Uh, the space station uh, it, it looks a lot just like the mock-ups that we have back in uh, Houston, and so I felt it felt comfortable. However, it is definitely a lot bigger, and it's really impressive with the addition of, of the Columbus module and the GEM modules. And for Greg, uh, recently we heard a call down where Yuri and Richard had found an old experiment of uh, Thomas Ryder's. What do you think uh, some future space station uh, resident will find of yours up there? Well, hopefully, if I've done a good job, uh, everything that we worked on uh, uh, finishes successfully and uh, stowed in a place where where the ground knows where it is. So, I think um, you know there's a lot of ongoing experiments. Um, some, you know, there's in fact an experiment that I'm working on. You know, that uh, Mike worked on back in Expedition Nine. Uh, that's not uh, just uh, 20 feet in front of us, um, and uh, you know. So there's a lot of ongoing experiments, and and you know what what the future crews are going to find here is a lot of installed new uh, equipment, apparatus that we installed. Uh, a big part of Expedition 17, of course, was getting the the spectacular new, beautiful Japanese uh, module on board, and that with Columbus, which is also really new. Uh, there's a lot of really capable scientific racks up here that we've started to use that have already running science uh, experiments in several of them. And the crews that come after me are going to find, you know, beautiful uh, um, uh, new apparatus to work on for the, the experiments that are coming up in the future expeditions.